she stops doing hair I was really freaking out we had to keep everything on time or we'd never get to the church on time so we're good well I gotta do your makeup oh okay <laughs> The morning of my wedding. It was the best day of my life. Get up! Get up! Ugh, man. <laughs> I wake up to screaming girls jumping on my bed and my dad. Gotta go to the reception hall, setting up tables and chairs. All right, let me get dressed. Y'all get the heck out of here for a second. All right. Okay. First thing in the morning, we decided that we needed to shoot straight to the venue to be able to get the table set up. So we packed in the car and we got out. What we're doing, putting tables on this side. Me and Carmen's straight table is gonna be right there. I knew what I wanted and a straight plan of it. Thankfully, we had a lot of people helping. Hello? Happy wedding day. Oh, happy to you too, babe. I love you, I can't wait. I love you too, sweetheart. I got a question for you though. Uh, up there where we're sitting, I put two tables because I was gonna have us up there. And then our best man and his wife and then your best woman and his girl. No, Casey, people are not gonna like that. We had already talked about this. Not so, right, Frank. I hear you, but you need to calm down. I just really rely on you because I don't have a wedding planner, so I guess I'll trust I you. Any bride the morning of her wedding would freak out like I did. I wasn't gonna have last minute changes that I didn't want. You really stressed me out that day. I understand. And I did not do it to get back at you. I know it looks like that, but you have to trust me That's that I wasn't doing. Like. Well, I'm sorry it looks like that well, to you. That was not my intention. I'm done. Today is my wedding day. I had gotten my hair done and set my foundation for my makeup and I had to go to the venue and make sure everything was set. Look okay. at her, she's in her pajamas. I wanted to be at the church on time. There was no way I was gonna be late. All right, I got my Elvis, we're good to go. Okay, listen, we gotta hurry up. I run into the venue. It looks good, it looks pretty good. I'm actually surprised that I like it. I walk into the hall and I really like how Casey had set up the tables. We just kind of moved some things around, just setting up the perfect last minute touches. Hold on. So the cake, the present table's right here. Yes. Okay, so we got Elvis and Priscilla at the cake table. Beautiful. Now it'll be like Elvis was really here. <laughs> my Elvis impersonator canceled last minute, so I had to have Elvis at my wedding. We need to leave. I wanted to be perfect for the wedding, so I headed out to go get my hair cut. I'm putting a lot of trust in you, right? The reason why is because I haven't got my hair cut by anybody for 15 years. It feels nice having somebody else cut your hair for once. I wanted it to be perfect, and I know sometimes I goof it up. Ready to go? Perfect cut for a perfect day. I like it. Now I feel like a million bucks. Instantly, I knew where we had to go next. We went to go get me a ring, because of course, I couldn't find my ring. Actually looking for a ring. And it's perfect size, it's a nine. You know what, partner? Let me get this one. All right, okay. Great. Once I found the ring, I knew I had to get it. I show up to my aunt's house, finish my makeup, and we're literally running in. So we gotta get this done. Whatever I look like in 15 minutes, that's how I'm gonna look. I wanna be calm, cool, and collective. I don't wanna show up at the church late because then I'll be freaking out. I'm just a ball of nerves. Once I found my ring, we went straight to the hotel. I was just relaxing in the room when my best man walks in. Dude, stressing, man. Don't got that much time left and just gotta get everything done. No. Did you get your ring situation figured out? Got my ring figured out. You shaking, James. Just a little bit. <laughs> While me and James are getting ready, we decided to throw back a few jello shots. Dad pops in at the same time, and I was ready to go have a wedding. The three men you just don't wanna mess with. 
Yeah, no. We piled in my dad's car and headed straight to the church. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I really like my makeup, but I want to make sure it turned out amazing. So I had to go and finish it myself. If I didn't get it done within the next five minutes, I would be late. Let's get like, the dress. Yeah, let's go. Pretty. My mom and my aunt helped me get on my dress. It was so exciting. You dream about this moment your whole life. It was finally coming true. Let's go. I felt like a princess. Once I was ready and heading out, it was surreal. I couldn't believe that I was actually on the way to getting married. I think my most nervous point is when all the eyes are on you when you first walk in. Girl, they could be on me, not you. <laughs> we were in such a great mood. Me and my mom were just kind of cutting jokes back and forth just to kind of calm our nerves. Well, we finally arrived at the church. You ready? Very much ready. And then it was time. I held my mom's arm and we walked down the aisle and I took my place. I was so ready to get married. Finally, we got to the church. As I was lining up with my mom and dad, it was just surreal. Are you ready? Wait, I'm not ready. At that moment, I was like, I can't move. I, I literally felt frozen. But once I saw Casey and I saw everyone, I just started to make my way down the aisle. As Carmen strolled down toward me, all I could think about is how beautiful she was. People would say I cried, but dude, there was a bug in my eye. Oh, you're so pretty. Once we got to the front, I just cannot keep from smiling. You come here freely and without reservation to honor and love each other for the rest of your lives? Yes. I invite you to join your right hands. I just keep looking over at Casey. It was a feeling I couldn't explain. I, Casey, take you, Carmen, to be my wife. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Carmen, take you, Casey, to be my husband. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Rings. The moment of the rings came, which I was OK with because I knew I got a ring already and we'd be fine. Lord. I was very surprised to see my original ring sitting there. It's because I spent a good day or two looking for that ring. Carmen, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I was so happy I couldn't let that get to me as much. Casey, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. The whole moment was just amazing. I wouldn't take anything back for that moment. It is my honor and my privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Casey Bergen. We were now husband and wife. It was an amazing feeling. Over all the stuff we've been through, this guy did not say kiss the block. So, I just did. We felt like we were on cloud nine. We were just so happy. I love you. Yeah, but let me look at you. So dang, Casey. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Let me look at you. Ooh, you look. <laughs> we knew we had to get to the venue, so we got in the truck and rushed off. Don't take the ring from me. I had to go buy another one. Once we got in the truck, I just let all my feelings out about that ring. It was expensive. Well, you know, I look forward to the day before my wedding so much. It doesn't matter. No, you it does Taking a ring from me, it doesn't make it even, Carmen. Don't do that. Casey really let me have it for the ring. He was not letting go of it. All I wanted to do was explain. I was there crying and crying. I was so sad the day before my wedding, and it really got to me because I should be happy and just so happy. On You really stressed me out that day. I understand, And Carmen. I did not do it to get back at you. I know it looks like that, but you have to trust me That's that I wasn't it doing... Like. Well, I'm sorry it looks like that well, to you. That was not my intention. Well, stop talking about it now. I'm done. Let's not talk about it anymore. I love you, Carmen. Don't do that anymore. And after all that hecticness and all that stress, finally we get to the venue. I had a big surprise for Carmen. I have a surprise for you before we go in, okay? Really? I got you Elvis Presley. Are you serious? You found one to come? Yes, I did. Oh, Casey, I'm so excited. Where's the end? Is he inside? <laughs> The Elvis Presley we had before canceled on her. So I was working overtime just to make sure I could make her happy. You're breaking my fingers. Okay. I know he's inside and you're excited. 
Be calm. Okay, let's go. I immediately wanted to run into Hall and find where he was. For the first time, welcome the bride and groom, Casey and Carmen Bergen. All we want, all we need is each other. So we walk in and we see everyone and we start hearing the music and we're getting really excited. After the grand entry, it was, it was time for the first dance with Carmen. At first it felt amazing and awkward because her dress was so big. It was a little difficult to dance with, but we know how to shake it. It was a surreal experience. It was almost something out of like a musical movie. I was really excited to see all of our family there, see all the final touches on the decorations, and then I see Elvis. I was ecstatic. the best dinner and a show we've ever had. He was amazing. I was so excited. Thank you very much. You wanna dance with me? And then he took us out for our special dance. It was just so awesome to be out there on the dance floor with him and have him singing to me. It'll be something that I never forget. While everybody started eating, I grabbed Carmen so we can have just a little alone time together. Miss Elgaro. I love you. I just wanted to say thank you so much for my Elvis. It really meant the world to me. I couldn't stop smiling. Making you happy just only makes Ready to go back inside and party the night away? As long as I get to have it with me. After one of our most special moments, it was time for the cake. All I want to do is tell Sylvester, I appreciate everything you did. I wanted to acknowledge Carmen's brother that helped us get the cake. A beautiful cake. The party got wild. Everybody was getting down going crazy. Everywhere you looked, there was a smile on everybody's face. The garter toss was amazing and the twins started fighting. And then I go to throw the bouquet and my cousin Mandy caught it. It was time for the country dance. Everybody was dancing, getting crazy. Even my mom was shaking it with Casey's dad. And we had Tahana dance too. It was the best party of the year. After all the planning, deciding on the church, the location. Teaching her parents how to dance to country. Casey accepting my Elvis, and Elvis calls me last minute to cancel. All the stress and all the madness the day before the wedding. But at the end of the day, we do it all over again. Family helping us out in the wedding. It was amazing. Casey surprised me with Elvis. Everybody was dancing together. It was a perfect night. This night is so unbelievable, you have no idea. Well, I have an idea because I got my country, I got my family. I think all the stress, all the crying, all the freaking out, it was totally worth it. This was the night of my life. I love you. I love you. Are you ready to go? Let's get that. the best day of our life. I love you. Visit miboda.tres.com to comment on exclusive videos, photos, y mucho más. Chaparrita de 
mi vida. This is a really good song. I love the Stejano song. I like the music, but I just.